we're in Glencoe on a beautiful sunny day. Who'd have known? Uh, yeah, so we're looking at going into the the Ilda Canyon, which is uh, is pretty kind of unknown about God, just stuck at the bottom of uh, Stockcarry Creek and this run the Larrog Ridge, which is sharp ridge just coming down here. How hard it'll be, no idea. In the, the winter of 2010, there was a, an, a really cold snap, like an exceptional cold snap. It was probably the coldest for uh, 20, 20, 30 years, I think. Simon Yearsley, who's an alpinist, he and some of his partners went prospecting in Glencoe and they just discovered this kind of lost world of, uh, of, of frozen waterfalls everywhere that went on for just hundreds and hundreds of meters. And from all the pictures, you could see this kind of deep cut canyon going off into the distance. In the summer, it, it kind of looked like it would make a, a good adventure. The conversation that I had with Simon Yearsley, he hasn't really any information or, or knowledge about it having been done in the summer as a kind of, as a canyon gorge scramble. So to begin with, it looks like we're just gonna have to walk along the stream and then it's just gonna cut right in. I think you can't even see it at all just yet. So it's gonna get really deep in the middle by the look of it. Maybe, I don't know, that looks like three or 400 meters. Uh, and then there's a lot of waterfalls above it, but look, so we'll see how hard they are. Don't know quite where it tops out. So there's a couple of some kind of small waterfalls to begin with. I think if we just kind of go in just on the top and maybe, yeah, kind of try and get into the main gorge proper just there. And then quite quickly these kind of walls just rise up on the side of the stream and you're quite quickly in this kind of really nice meandering kind of uh, quite shallow gorge to begin with. It's easy at first, there's a few little cascades scramble up, no real difficulty at all, get a bit wet. Pretty high, that I'm not sure. Might be that we can't get up that. Have a look. A few meters further on beyond that, we can see a waterfall that was much higher, almost plumb vertical. And kind of originally, we got to it and just thought, you know, mm, this might shut us down. Climbing up the waterfall itself to begin with looked like it could have been an option, but it was probably going to be quite tricky, uh, if not impossible. And then we had a look just to the left of it, it was very crumbly, um, loose, kind of green, slimy wall that looked easy, but just very kind of, yeah, loose and um, probably quite serious. So I took a look at it first and kind of pulled off quite a lot of loose rocks. I was kind of, I just wasn't sure, I wasn't quite happy with it. Um, and then Mike, who I was climbing with, who's also the cameraman, he had a look at it and decided, yeah, he was kind of happy to lead this pitch that I was, I was just a bit unsure about. So he, uh, he led off up and kind of quite quickly reached a, a flake about halfway up that provides a really good solid hold. So it probably feels like the only solid hold on the, the whole thing. And once, you, once he was at that, it just kind of knew he had it in the bag. So Mike climbed further up and then set up a, a belay anchor at the top and put a rope down so I could tie in and then just second the pitch safely. 
and it was, it was great, you know, it's um, it's quite serious, you, you could fall off at any point because it is quite slippery and you have to just test every single hole. Nice one, man. It suddenly turned into a rock climbing trip. What happened here? Suddenly above this, uh, above this rope pitch that we climbed, you're just suddenly in this massive canyon, it just really opens out and the walls just go right up. Look at that! Look! Look! That's very cool. Very, very, very cool. It must be what? 30, 40 metre high walls at the back. And uh, you just get this absolutely just phenomenal view through this canyon to the waterfalls kind of rising up to the, to the cliffs in the distance. An exciting moment, you know, like really exciting. That's amazing. That's amazing. So then we just walked for probably three or four hundred meters of just easy stream. And then again we came across just more waterfall. And they just kept coming. They just you can just see them kind of stacked up against each other in the background, waterfall after waterfall. But in almost every case, they were once we got to them, they were a little bit easier than they looked to begin with. Um, they're, they're all tricky, but you could usually find like you know there's a hole there and kind of have to look at them for a bit. We've got uh, this, another probably like eight, ten meter high waterfall. Um, I just tried the bottom half of it. The bottom half of it is quite easy. The top half is quite hard. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go climbing. So I headed off first up this one. There's no point in putting a rope up it because there's no way to protect it anyway. So it's a climb up this wall into a tiny bowl where the waterfall kind of uh, splashes in and splashes out like that. At this point, you've got really full force of the water just coming straight into you. Um, so it's a case of kind of finding holes through the water um, and then sort of chimneying up on each side. It was quite scary. There was quite a lot of loose rocks. I had to pull off some pretty big ones. Come on, Jim. Come on. You got it. You got it. It's easy climbing. There's nothing there that's strenuous at all, but you wouldn't want to mess up. That was amazing. Quite scary, actually. Like, easy but really bold. Just really slippery, kind of unprotectable climbing. So it would just be absolutely amazing if we can top out from this. It would, it would be awesome. And look at that, you know? Like, amazing! So today I was after uh, wide shots of, of, of both of us walking through a really high-sided kind of uh, canyon. I was looking for a real sense of space in these images. But at the same time, it was, it was absolutely ideal place to, to kind of use a, a super wide lens when uh, when Mike was climbing up towards me and just getting really close with a, with a flash gun and just fill in the shadows in this kind of dark enclosed place and then it just kept going even more waterfalls um, just really fun enjoyable kind of scrambling all, all very delicate all kind of really careful placements of your feet and your hands Now we've reached a, a split in the gorge with one fall on the left that's just impossible and one on the right that is impossible. So now we've got this thing, I think. Probably the scariest bit of the entire day was just this grassy slope that looked easy out of the gorge. It's all just slime and kind of coming away and whenever you come across a rock, it crumbles and uh, yeah, you could easily come off at any point on that final bit. It's quite, uh, it's quite grim, actually. 
So we're now almost, we're almost right underneath the crags of these faces of Stolkaris Creek. So we're actually pretty high now. And you've got the whole canyon going back behind us just here. And it looks absolutely amazing. It's quite a, quite a place. Probably about a kilometre long, but yeah, really amazing canyon. One of the best I've ever done in the UK, I think. It's great, it's obscure, it's, it's intimidating, it's, yeah, kind of everything you want from a, from a good adventure.